Okay, this question is, how does your product represent particular social groups? Oh, our product. <coughs> our product, yeah. Our product. Our product. I think yeah. start with, mostly because of like one of our main characters, it's uh, about teenagers just not being understood or people not listening to their kids, which is yeah. kind of in the tub of misunderstood. Yeah, misunderstood so that. It's got some themes within that, like the uh, dad overworking, not yeah. having enough time to see his daughter. Um, not understanding her problems yeah. or what's going which on. You probably see, she, he, is, which she's yeah, you can say that he is which could say that the actual father of the detective is addicted to his work. And it's emphasised because um, the idea of it is um, that he's actually a single father as well, so he yeah. must have problems, which is why she tends to go out and rebel, as in some of our pictures, are still pictures that we show, she does rebel. I know another kind of... Uh, mm. But we can put it in. Yeah. You, could, you could represent them that our uh, production would be like obsessive people, because you've got um, the father the detective who is... Um, got like a board with all these names on that, yeah. and he has got all these names circled, and he's just he's working very hard, which means he's obsessed with it, which goes yeah. to show that you know, worker. about yeah, you got people who it's work focus on his social uh, his his work career, than work his like, family life. Yeah. Kind of like, overworking is quite a big theme in like real life yeah. as well. Yeah. It can relate to lots of people, people. working like. Right, well, nine till half five and their kids yeah. are getting off at like, finishing school at, like three. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. all all of the and media then, bringing up the thing about rebellious. Um, Teams and Asbos yeah. coming out and all of this. Well, also, parents, also so. you could link into this the whole thing about um, with the uh, social group being like a, a overworker. You know that sometimes if someone gets just like an overworker and they get really like distressed or something, they will revert to drinking alcohol, which is another thing they put in because you've got. Um, it's, in this, it's kind of hinted at, really. It's like, yeah. But it's like anyone who walks around with a flask which helps with. In alcohol, a workplace. In, in a know, workplace. So. Where, where it's illegal, isn't it? Pretty sure, pretty sure, yeah. But yeah, if he's, so. it's supposed to be like he's um, his own boss, he's his yeah. own private, like yeah, private yeah, eye detective, PI. yeah. I think that's sort of, that's sort of been taken over his life more than the fact of his daughter. Yeah. So obviously yeah. work and Shows, He's kind of a bit like disregarding his daughter in a way, like showing yeah. her the door, but it's not really a, an upbringing that many parents would want to give to their children, although that's how it normally ends out. We sort of see that when um, he throws the wallet down, so he's just like, he sees the daughter's face and he throws it away, sort of discarding her. Mm. Sort of yeah, like yeah. So it's like he just he can't bear the thought to look at her face because he knows he's in the wrong. Well, so maybe he's he, knows he knows he knows he's failed as a father, and so he basically just um, reverts back to his old way, trying to solve this case, being an overworker, not actually trying to focus more on the uh, situation for his daughter. He's just trying to solve it, and um, it's basically sending him spiraling downwards because he's drinking more. We don't really show so whether <clears throat> when he throws it down whether he's. Where he blames himself for letting her get kidnapped, or he's angry at her. I think for the, getting so kidnapped. we try and make the audience pick what they want. Really. Yeah, pick what they want to believe. And I, I think it's interesting. Although we've kind of subverted some things of normal crime for this, we've you've stuck by crime thriller genre quite closely, haven't we? Like the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Detective. the detective, the man, the the hero of the it's, story it's is um, saving the damsel in distress. So yeah, because if you if you think about it, doing a crime slash thriller, it's quite easy to. Uh, Represent the detective because you can have the de detective being um, a really good detective, a, like a troubled detective. Mm. They've got so many different types of detectives out there, which is basically you can just take your pick of which kind of one you want to represent. Mm -hmm. so I guess I guess we spent more time on the plot and the, the filming and the editing. They're actually developing. They're actually character. developing and you normally when you see in films, films like yeah. detectives quite a lone guy like uh, Dirty Harry or Sin City. There's always like the guys are single, they're alone, they're yeah. like middle aged, they're moral yeah. background is a bit yeah, yeah they don't yeah. really have that social life yeah but if if they have daughter if they have a daughter or whatever it, it would automatically kind of gives him a moral background which he can gives him a from. purpose in life yeah, yeah. What to go for and what yeah. to yeah. but if she, if he's lost that and then obviously you know it could be mean that like he sort of pushed her away as well yeah we only really <clears throat> we only really developed his character in like the first 30 seconds and whilst also doing that we developed um, Sophie's character at the same time, yeah. like that he's a daughter. But throughout the rest of it, we didn't do much character development apart from maybe going into further detail that he's on her case trying to figure out what happened. Yeah. I mean, you don't really need to know that much about the detective in the first introduction about him yeah. because you know from certain aspects of what he's doing in the actual, in what in the Mise on Sen, you can see what kind of detective he is. With the, um, the board with the names, the, 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 the drinking of the alcohol, the, um, you know, um, exhausted look on his face. You just dark know room. exactly dark group. You know what kind of detective he is. Whilst with um, and along with that, you can um, get hints about 
fact that, um, that Sophie, the character, uh, the um, act actress portraying the daughter, is um, gone missing and the relationship between the two aren't that well. We don't so. really see her much, we don't really see her get represented very well, it's just because we only see a number of shots with her, we don't really see the background that she's sort of had yeah. as much as the detective. We, we did try to show you that with the um, still pictures and that, but... And the arguments, yeah, but, but it, it didn't appeal just, to the audience, did no. it? So. so we tried to appeal to the audience by just leaving that out and it worked, so... I think another thing as well, we didn't spend it. We didn't spend enough time on casting and uh, one of the things was trying to get the actual right person for the job. Yeah, and rather than having an actual adult and um, making it look professional yeah. and believable, we, we went for Josh, who was obviously one of the older looking um, people that we could have used, although it may bring up ideas for the audience, and like uh, Josh being an underage dad, for instance, yeah. and it's, it's not the kind of thing we were going for, but... But I guess if you actually find um, yes. a, um, an adult willing to do this, it would have been a bit mm. hard to do. But I guess we could, we could, for next time we do a project, spend more time on casting. Yeah. And make it Try to actually come for a person who actually fits the role yeah. properly. I think what we did well with the film was we didn't really give away the killer or the kidnapper too much. We only mm. saw him, we only basically like, saw his arm and that was it. Yeah. And I think that like was good. good. Most good um, crime thrillers still do that, mm. don't they? So. You don't really find out until like the end or something. Cause yeah. Although what I'm concerned we about, really yeah. don't do deep into the, his storyline. Yeah. So I think you're more effective. this, the old um, uh, like social class, the actual kidnapper. We don't. It might some people may actually not see it as a kidnapper rather than like um, maybe see maybe see it as a pedophile. So. Or it just could kidnapper. even just be a boyfriend, you know, yeah, exactly. going off the rails. But I guess that's the whole thrill it's of the for, chase. It's yeah. for the audience to well, find out. Yeah, it's the audience have to makes the choice yeah. about who they think it is because yeah. they don't know what it is. They can choose what kind of person it is which will then let the audience decide what kind of social class that this um, mysterious kidnapper is portraying which is gives um, the audience the well the choice really rather than we, us telling them what kind of social class he is yeah. so it gives them more freedom is that it, yeah yeah, yeah. Right. go